Hi guys, this is Duncan from dunksblog.com and here I am with my Samsung Galaxy Nexus and my USB cast stereo. Now this cast stereo is really designed for the iPhone and for USB flash drives in that it can charge the phone and play the music from the USB port. However, with the Galaxy Nexus, if I go ahead and attempt to plug it in, you'll find that it just goes to read forever, or say no device, there we go, USB read is just going to keep looping reading and then eventually error out. And there is a reason for this. Uh, with uh, ice cream sandwich and jelly bean, uh, they actually cause the phone to be shown when you plug it into USB in both the uh, stereo and, if I show you now, the computer, it will actually use the MTP or media transfer protocol. So it's connected as a media device, shows as a Galaxy Nexus and shows as a portable media player. We don't want this because the obviously this won't work for the stereo because it needs it to show as a flash drive. Now what we're going to do is force the phone to use UMS or USB mass storage and it's very easy to do. You need to have a rooted device for this and I'm going to go ahead and launch an app available in the Play Store which I'll link in the description called USB Sharer. This is a seven day trial of this, it will go onto a page after that so it's really worth it if you want to have the functionality it has. But you'll see, I'm going to go ahead and do new virtual USB. It's going to ask for a name for it. So I'm going to call it music. And instead of having this force the whole file system to be done through USB, this can essentially force it to do a certain folder on the system. So I can select that folder inside here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to create a blank one just to show you that we can change it on the computer to transfer a file. So I'm going to go ahead and make a gigabyte. Yes, I know a thousand megabytes isn't a gigabyte, but I'm going to do that. You can choose it to be, choose it to be encrypted. You also have share mode. So it can ask you, do you want it to be read only or read write? So I'm going to choose read write just because I feel like it. And then we have the option to auto unshare. So that means if it's idling for a while it will return back to that MTP protocol and uh, you'll see I'm going to go ahead here and choose to don't. So that essentially means when I plug it in it's going to always be a flash drive. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to go to share. Uh, sorry I'm going to create, create the image first and then share it. And it says oh no US, UMS is disabled. Do you want to enable it? Yes we do. So I'm going to unplug this we're going to enable this UMS. It may take a little while while it does it. So yeah, this app is a seven day free trial and you'll see it's now shared the image. Oops, if I go to the right bit, shared image, blah, blah, blah. So it's ready to go, essentially. We'll put this in to the computer and it will now see it on here as a removable disc. You'll see it's got 999 megs. So I'm going to go ahead and reach across. So I apologize to the camera person and I'm just going to copy one song across from that. So it's now on here as one song. You can put all your songs on here as you would a normal flash drive. Um, be careful when you're creating these because uh, you can erase it all if you unmount things. But I will then go ahead, plug it in to the phone for the USB and on the music player, you'll see, there we go. It's now playing the music. So it's quite useful. So again, I can now control, instead of having things like um, the uh, aux cable, because you see we have the aux port, which is a, another alternative, which means you'd then have to use the headphone out running into this, which is annoying because one, it won't charge the phone unless you use that USB port, just to show you, it is charging that device there. So it's playing and charging, um, but also you can't control it with the stereo. So if I want to skip the track, which obviously I've only got one song on here, but you can't control that, you have to control it on the phone. And if you can imagine you're sitting with the, uh, with the phone on this mount here, it's gonna be difficult to control and it won't work with steering controls and all that sort of stuff too. So that is pretty much it. This is a song playing. Now, this is how you get it working on an Android device. If you have an alternative version, please let me know in the comments. Any suggestions for the next video, please let me know. Thanks for watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like these videos and thanks again.